I have four siblings that live in Israel. I'm the only one that lives here in New York. My parents live in New York as well. So Thursday afternoon, I called my mom and asked her if she needs any help with shopping. She told me that she did most of the shopping on a phone order at the local supermarket. But she needs help with the chicken and meat from the butcher. She gave me a list of what she needs. I went down to the local butcher, bought it, and brought it down to her. When I get to her house and drop it off at the door, since I'm not going in because of the virus, even though they're still young and healthy, thank God, but we're playing careful. She asked me how much was it she really wants to pay. As usual, I told her it's not necessary. But this time she was really pushing it. She really wanted to pay. So I told her, listen, mommy, I owe you so much money. Let it just go off the account of what I owe you. And eventually, with the years, we'll balance it out. She asked me, what do you mean? When was the last time you took money from me? I told her, listen, it wasn't lately, but I took a lot of money from you. I lived in your house for 17 years. I never paid you a dime. No rent. I ate three meals a day at your home. I never paid you for that. And I ate a lot. Those meals were big. Yep, that overweight comes from someplace. She laughed. She told me that she loves me. I told her that I love her too. And I went into the car. But on the way home, that sentence that I said hit me strong. And I started thinking about it. How much did my parents do for me? How much do I owe them? If I would try to put it into a spreadsheet, It would be crazy. It would be millions. And the reason I realize it now more than I realized it before is because my daughter is growing up. I have a 15-year-old daughter. The older your kids become, the more you realize how much you owe your parents. When your kids are young, you're doing everything for them. You're feeding them. You're helping them with the homework. But as they grow up, you realize that they don't need you as much. I can't help my daughter with homework. She knows mathematics better than me. She's taken engineering class in high school. These are things that I know nothing about. Programming? I can't help her with all of these. And when you cannot help your kids, that's when you realize how your parents feel towards you now that you grown up, now that you became a grown up. How much did they do for you in the years when you actually needed them for every small thing? How many meals did they feed you? They gave you clothes every day. Clean clothes. You can't move on. It's time for payback. Can you pay everything back? I don't know. Maybe some of you guys can. I don't have a million dollars in the bank to pay back my parents for everything they gave me. But I'll try to do it a little at a time. Payback time is now. Pay your parents back before it's too late. Let let your children see how you pay back your parents. Let them see how you respect your parents, 
even if it's not coming from a very good place, let it come from a selfish place. Just show a good example. Show your kids how you respect your parents. Hopefully, your kids will respect you as well. I'm saying this as a parent, and I'm saying this as a child. Thank God I'm in that place of life when I'm a parent and still a child. It doesn't last forever. It's time to pay back. Thank God for whoever still has the opportunity. Pay your parents back. Call them every day. God bless you guys. Good night. And you young kids out there that don't understand anything I'm saying, yes, you teenagers over there. I remember how stupid I was when I was a teenager. Oh, I was a tough teenager. You think you're doing your parents a favor? You know how much you owe them? I didn't know when I was a teenager. I didn't realize that. I had so much attitude in me. I was such a hard teenager to deal with. I feel bad now. Change it now. Change it. Respect them. They deserve it. And if you're not ready to understand yet, so go back to your TikTok and let's talk in 10 years from now. Little baby. Maybe I should post this one on TikTok for the kids so they realize this. Good night.